it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. All right, welcome back for another week, another movement practice. To this week, I think we're gonna work on some rolling, hopefully get to a backwards roll, but we will see what we get to. If not, we'll kind of work into a plat position and help you enjoy, move at your own risk, move in your own abilities, have a towel, maybe some water standing by, and we'll get started. Come down to the floor, we'll lay on our chest, so we'll do a little prone twist action. So I'm going to send my left arm out to the side and I'll bend my right foot and I'll just reach over the left leg. I can look up to the ceiling. Good, and then we'll switch sides. So the right leg comes back, right arm out to the side. Left foot bends and steps over. Good, coming back, we'll do each side once more. Left arm out, right foot steps. And what you can do is with that arm, kind of walk it up towards your shoulder height or maybe a little a little above, you'll feel the chest and the shoulders start to stretch a little more. And we'll roll through, switching sides, right arm out, left foot steps. And the same thing here, I can crawl my fingers up towards my shoulder, towards my head. Start to feel that upper pectoral shoulder stretch. Good, coming back to center. We'll press up to our hands and knees and then we'll send our hips back to a child's pose. So pressing through the hands. And we'll just hinge at the shoulders. We'll come up through our hands and knees, tabletop, and we'll dip our hips. And I like to tuck my chin here, and then we'll shift back. We'll just kind of flow through a couple of those. Good. Shift forward with an inhale. You can shift back with an exhale. Waving forward and pressing back. Good. This time we'll do a little variation. As we come forward, we'll just do kind of like a modified push up. Elbows hug the wrists, and then we'll peel up like a little baby cobra. Thinking about trying to articulate the upper spine. And then we'll come back down, press up and shift back. Shifting forward, dipping down, peeling up. And back down, pressing up and back. And shifting forward. Again, as you lower, try to hug the ribs with your elbows. And then we'll peel up. And press back. Good. And why not for fun, as we come down to our chest, we'll shoot the right arm out and roll the left leg over like we just did. 
I'll come back to center, peel up in a little cobra, come back down, shoot the left arm out, right foot will step over. Yeah. And then we'll come back, pressing back to our child's pose. And we'll do a few more like that. So coming forward, lowering down, right arm out, left foot steps up and over. Coming to center, peeling up. Lowering down, left arm out, right foot steps. Back to center, pressing up and back. Shifting forward, lowering down, right arm out, left foot steps. We'll kind of just rock through this one, coming back to center, peeling up and down, left arm out, right foot steps. And back to center, pressing up and back. So we'll do two more moving quicker. Coming down, right arm, left foot, kind of just touch. Back to center, peel up, shoot the left arm, right, arm, right foot steps. Back to center, pressing up and back. And one more. Nice smooth transition, shift forward, lower down, right arm, left foot, back to center, peel, down, left arm, right foot, back to center, and we'll press back. We'll take our knees nice and wide here, and we'll take a moment in our child's pose. And then to get the shoulders, and send the right arm out to the right, Reach up for a twist, and then thread it through between the chest and the floor, right here towards the floor. And we'll unthread that arm, reach it up for that twist, swim it forward. And here comes a cat. Left arm out to the side, left fingers toward the ceiling, and we'll thread that arm through the chest and the shoulders to the floor. Good. One more breath. And we'll unthread, come up for that twist. We'll swim it forward and we'll rise on up, kind of get into a nice tabletop, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and we'll just do a few cat-cow, just to round out the spine, drop the belly, lift the hips, exhale round, inhale, chest comes forward, round. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, hips lift, and round, good, we can put the tops of our feet to the floor and sit back to a tall kneeling position, and just for fun, <clears throat> Let's raise straight up. First, we'll think tipping shoulders over our knees and then come up. So kind of like a little seesaw action. Forward and up, forward and back. Basically, this becomes the weight, lightens my hips, hips drive forward and back. Two more. One more. Good. This time we'll do the opposite. We're going to press 
down through the floor. You can have the tops of your feet or your balls of your feet engaged. But this time, instead of hinging forward, I'm just going to try to lift straight up. So I'm really driving through with the hips and coming up. Just to feel the different sensations. And if you were doing tops, Good. And now for funsies, let's do the same thing, but we're going to lean back. So we're adding weight to the lift and lifting our hips. So keep the bottom ribs kind of tucked in. Think of doing like a little crunch. I'm going to drive the hips forward. If it's too much, don't lean as far back. But it's just like your Michael Jackson moonwalker or Dracula lifting from the dead. And two more. One, two. Just feel a little more quad engagement in that, plus a little abs. And speaking of abs, <laughs> let's do a little rocking around the clock. We'll just Swing our feet out, coming down to our backs. Making a little eggshell. Let's just do front to back rocking for now, so we'll come up and sit. For three. For two. For one. So now we'll rock 360. So as my hips lift, the little shimmy, A little shoulder shimmy. Once you made it around, we'll do three rocks. One, two, three. Yeah, so as we t turn like a turret, we'll go the opposite direction. Don't necessarily worry about coming up super high. Just think little inchworm turns. And then again, we'll rock up for three. And then rock the other way. So this little micro rocks. So like one vertebrae is on the ground. And then rock. One. Two. Three. Opposite direction. The little shimmies. And one, two, three. That one adds up quick. So let's work kind of like a half of a back roll, kind of into like a plow position. Um, we'll shoot the feet over the right shoulder first. You can go to wherever you want. So as I rock back, my left arm is going to be like a push-up position. I'm going to look over my right shoulder and reach and back. We can kind of micro dissect this, I think. If I think of my like figure four base, left leg is my low butterfly, right knee is up. I'm gonna look over my right shoulder. My right leg's gonna kick. So just like we were rocking, and I kick both legs. For now, I'm gonna kick just the right. Then the right knee will drop, left leg extends. Left leg up, right leg kicks me back. So. Almost like a little scissor action. Let's see what transpires. Um, so as I rock back, my left knee's to the side, right knee is up for now. Right leg reaches and the right knee comes down and then the left foot 
I back to that figure four, and I rock back. If you're not making it all the way there, that's fine, and come back. Play with where you're at and what you want to do, but as you go, reach with the foot. My right arm is long, I'm looking over my right shoulder, chin tucked, right leg kicks. And so you can see what the left hand is doing. It's planting. So my head's not on the ground. And back. Let's do three more. Rock, reach. Kick, kick, rounding my spine, reach, and back, good, now we'll do the other side, so my right leg will be my downward butterfly leg, left leg is long, I don't favor this side so this one's going to be, I have to tell myself the steps. Left arm's out to the side, looking to the left. Chin is tucked. As I rock back, my left leg kicks. Right hand plants. And I'm in my little plow. And I rock back, right to that same figure four base. Round spine. Kick left. Right. And back. Again, if it's if you're not comfortable going all the way over, as I rock back, I'm just gonna reach with that left leg. Left arm out to the side, looking down through my armpit. But you'll see as you get there, reach with the other leg, and it might carry you the rest of the way. Let's do three more. So rounding, lift. For two. And three, reach. Good. And grab a little sip of water. And I think what'll be fun suck at the same time is we can do like 180 rocks around and then halfway back roll back half 180 rock around the clock and then do other side we so I'll end up starting with my dominant leg being the long leg but for now I'm on my back around my spine like my cat I'm gonna rock till I get 180. I'll rock up to that base and reach. Come back, melt down, rock 180. We'll do two each side. That way it's resetting. So right leg's back to the top. I reach and I come back, melt down. I'm gonna rock to the left this time. Left leg will be my upward knee, right knees to the back. Left arm long, looking over my left shoulder. Reach and touch and rock it to the left. Left leg is up. Reach and touch. Good, and we'll reverse. Rocking to the right. Right legs up, right shoulder down, touch, and back. Right side number two. And left side. So I'm looking left, left arm's long, left foot reaches, and 
back and continue around. Left leg's long, reaching and back. Good. Whew. Good times. Let's, now just to mess with our head, we'll alternate directions. So as I rock to the back or to the right side, as I get 180, my left leg will say, I reach up. And I already forgot which way I went, so I'm gonna rock back. Right leg is up. And switch. One more. Good. Yeah, let's two things. Let's roll all the way out of it, why not? And then we'll, what should we do? And then we'll try to do it super slow. So, once we get the back roll, we'll have the forward roll. But again, I'm gonna start with my side I like the most. My right side's up. I'm on my left butt cheek. As I rock back, I'm gonna go to my right shoulder. Right leg is reaching. Knee comes down, other knee comes down, and I'll sit up. Normally if I'm rolling, I'll dive through the middle. But because we kind of been going out to the side, I'm gonna go right shoulder to the side. Left leg's gonna tuck. Then my right leg chops. And the same thing in reverse. One, two. One, two. You don't have to go super fast, but just have fun and explore your movement. A rock, and then reach, and drive. What helps me turn over is as I'm upside down, or about to be upside down, I shoot my legs kind of upward. Think of thrusting my hips to the ceiling, and normally tips me and pops me out the back. So if I, Think of doing that slow. I kind of go here and then I'm going like Ugh! like I'm gonna up kick or shoulder shoulder stand hips and then I just catch with my feet. Oh yeah. And for anyone watching this later, if you're like once you come out you lose your place, just don't come all the way out of it. So what do I mean by that? As I roll back, I'm not gonna lift my head. I'm just gonna roll right back. And see if you're getting lost when you come out and then slowly you just come out a little more and more. But think of reaching through the feet and then tucking to the roll. So one leg starts and then I tuck. And then the same thing, my right leg's gonna reach. And my left leg reaches. And now the fun part, we'll do the side that I'm not good at. I'm gonna go left leg long, left, up, left shoulder will be down, starting on my right butt cheek. As I rock back, I'm gonna reach left, reach right. I'm gonna try to leave my hand there so I know Left shoulder down, right foot tucks, left foot chops. Rocking, left shoulder, reach, 
and reach. I get in that upside down position. I try to shoot my butt to the ceiling on the backward roll. So I'm reaching and then I drive up. Let's do two more. Good. So let's let's milk it and try to do it as slow as possible. Um, I guess to build into that, we'll roll into like a shoulder stand, like an up kick, and try to build that time that we're on our shoulders first. So, we can alternate which way we come up. So if I, my right knee's down, I'm going to rock back, I'm going to go right knee down. I'll switch, right knee up, up kick and back. So just trying to buy time at that upward position just to dissect it and have fun, fun with it. Let's do let's do 10 of those we'll say if I can count that high. So I'm gonna go right side down left knee up rock back kick and I'm gonna come back the same way switch that's one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now for the last two, let's try to hold it as long as it is. You know, it might be a second. Might be a second and a half, who knows. We're gonna rock back, we're gonna kick and drive, and come back. Switch sides, kick and drive, and come back. Good. So this time, we'll kind of roll into that plow position, and we'll work on kind of buying time as the leg falls. And we'll isolate each side just to keep it simple, simpler. So I'm going to start right side up as I rock back, kind of go to that shoulder stand and then let the right foot fall. I'll tap both feet and rock back. So as I rock back, I'm going to reach, but now since I know I'm going back, my feet are already going there. And this is the time we're buying to make nice and slow. And the same thing there. <sighs> Fun times. I reach, this is like what I'm saying, that up kick. And then try to slowly lower and then that reverse up and down. Let's do two more and we'll switch sides. Good. 
one. Good. This time, left side up. I'm gonna go over my left shoulder. Same thing as I rock back. I'm gonna kick and drive my hips. Slow, try to slow my descent. And slow the rock back. Mount, reach, and back. It's kind of like the break fall you do there, Alan. Same idea, just not falling into the break fall. Whew. Fun times. Do two more this side. Good. So, just because we just went super slow, let's now we'll do a normal speed one. Uh, let's do two each side, just to kind of feel how we can kind of use the momentum to carry us through. Going slow helps us realize that like we can correct along the way, or see where maybe we might fall off the rails every time if you don't have the move. So now just for fun, we dialed in nice and slow. Let's just. Let it flow. But still, just think of that perpetual motion kind of idea and how you have little micro movements to kick you through it. And then we'll switch sides. Same idea. And you notice to go faster, I don't have to extend my legs. I can just keep them nice and tucked. Still that same cat back and up. And one more. Cool. And just to completely do something weird. Let's go down to our hands and knees and different. We'll step the right foot outside the right hand, coming into our lizard pose with our knee down. I'm gonna look down, look for my foot. If it's in the middle, I'm gonna send it behind my knee, try to hide my left foot. And then I'm just gonna crawl my right foot forward, let my hips Drive forward. I'm gonna breathe and relax. And maybe the foot crawls a little more forward. Maybe just the glutes squeeze forward a little bit. And then if you're comfortable, I'm going to roll to the pinky edge of that right foot and let the knee fall to the side a little bit. My weight's in my hands. I'm not collapsing into that leg. I'm just rolling it open ever so slightly. Good, we'll come back to the flat foot. Let's raise the knee in the back this time. 
if you like. Let's do two nice full breaths here. Inhaling in, and then releasing nice and slow. As you release, think of melting your hips towards the floor. Inhaling in, exhaling out. And then if you want, we can try that rolling to the pinky edge of the foot. Again, I'm gonna be strong through the back leg, pressing through the hands, just opening the knee ever so. And we'll come back to a flat foot. The left knee will come down. We'll set the right knee to the back. We'll take a moment in child's pose. Can let the arms relax. I'm gonna line up my ears with my biceps. And I'm gonna dig my fingertips or press through my fingertips into the floor to create some space underneath. And then I'm gonna shift my chest towards the floor, kind of letting my forehead come down. Basically, if I have my hands flat and my head's on the ground already, there's nowhere for it to go. By raising it up, I can now fall forward of my shoulders. Just a little bit. Good. Palms flat. We'll come up and we'll step the left foot outside the left hand. And we'll begin the lizard process on this side. So again, I'm going to check through my center. Is my foot to the middle, to the outside. I'm going to line it up with the leg. And then I'm just letting my hips come forward, pressing through the hands. I like to tuck my chin a little bit. And as we relax and breathe, maybe the left foot inches forward. Good. In the interest of time, we're going to peel that foot open to the sides, rolling onto the pinky edge of the foot. Again, strong through the hands. Weight is in the hands and the back knee. And a little bit of the pinky edge of the foot. Come back, flat foot, raise the rear knee this time. The same thing, I'm gonna crawl my foot forward, hips melting towards the floor, trying to be a straight line. Then we'll roll to the pinky edge, opening that foot. Strong to the hand, strong to the back heel. Think of driving that long leg straight back. And we'll go foot flat. And this time, instead of going back down, I'm gonna step my right foot outside my right hand. And we'll come into our squat. Hips low, feet flat. We can send our elbows into our knees. I'm gonna plant my hands, lift my hips, and heel to my feet into a wide-legged stance, into a wide-legged forward fold. Oh, crisscross the arms and let it hang. Check your awareness of your balance. If your ass is pulling you back, shift forward a little bit, feel your weight through your feet. And don't just jam your legs locked, kind of Keep them just soft enough to adapt. Cool. We'll inhale to a flat back, plant the right hand, we'll lift the left arm up for a twist. And we'll switch. Left hand down, right arm up. And we'll do one more each side. Right hand down. Inhale up. 
Exhale, left hand down, right arm up, inhaling in. And exhale down. We'll heel toe our feet together. And I'm just gonna come up to my tippy toes, send my knees through my arms. Try to lower them down. Come into my kneeling position. We'll inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, fingertips towards each other. Relax the shoulders, hands come down as the air goes out. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale. One more. Inhaling up. This time we bring our palms together. We'll try to bring our elbows to touch as we come down through center. And then peel them out. And we'll release the hands. And that is time. Thank you for participating this week. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. More videos are coming. Take care.